Because if you do, I'm finding you. I'm, I'm gonna find out where you live, and I'm coming for your mom. Um, so that's just that's what it is. I I wish I wish I wish. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages? Welcome back to the AOA show. I'm your host, as always, Ian, along with the boys, Isaiah. Why, oh, and Gavin. What is Gucci Shoes? And today, we are talking about Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 6. Holy hell, this was insane, and I still can't believe there are people out there that don't like this show. Literally blows my mind. It's insane, but we're going to get into all the crazy things that happen within this episode and all the things that stuck out to us in particular, our theories, predictions, all that kind of jazz. It's all coming up. Hope you guys enjoy it. But if you do, make sure you guys are liking this video so we know you enjoy it. You're subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell if you're new here so you don't miss any future content, whether it be Attack on Titan or anything else anime related. Make sure you guys are sharing with your friends because the more the merrier and comment your thoughts down below. What did you think of our discussion? What did you think of this episode in particular? What are some of your predictions and theories? And don't spoil anything, um, but let us know. We're curious to extend the conversation over to you guys because it's not just us. Also, make sure you guys are checking out our AOA Reacts channel. Our link is in the description down below where we just posted our reaction to this episode. And wow, I'm talking at a slower and more lower pace here because um, I actually almost lost my voice <laughs> from from <laughs> literally screaming so much. And that, like none of that's fabricated. Like you get some people in the comments being like, this is fake, blah, blah. No, like that is, that is legitimate. Like for mm -hmm. me, this is like the peak of what anime has to offer. It's like, it was incredible. But anyway, our reactions there, go check it out. Subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. Make sure you guys are liking that video, helping support the cause here, and um, you know, stay tuned for more Attack on Titan future reactions and discussions. But anyway, let's hop into this discussion today, because damn, was this exciting. So I guess the first thing before we jump into the the main course here is, is hitting us with the appetizer first, right? And that is Willie, I find interesting. And I wanted to get your thoughts on him as a character and some of like the things that are going through his mind, his relationship with Theo, the commander, um, and the fact that he knew along with Theo that the um, Eldians or the Island Devils or Eren at least, or someone was in their midst, that, that, mm -hmm. that they were going to attack them and how they really wanted them to, you know, to attack the entire time to really solidify the whole, okay, now every nation is against you. Like, you're done. You can't come back from this. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the matter because I have some opinions on Willie as a person, but I'm curious to know yours to begin with. Anyone got anything? Uh, I got nothing. No? <laughs> okay. Like, care. <laughs> when we get to the meat and potatoes, that's what I want to talk about. But <laughs> sure. Willie's just All right. Protein. I guess I'll go in. Um, Very dangerous man, especially when he is of the mindset, which he made very apparent, mm -hmm. which is that it – he is willing to die for this plan to succeed and to really drive home the point where it's like, we need the whole world to go against these people. And like, we need to have that on a grand display. So they set it up perfectly. Very, very meticulous, kind of scary how much, you know, they thought into the future in that like, Oh, we're they, we know whether we're going to attack at this moment. It's just a matter of when, and really accepting the fact that, yeah, we're really like, I'm going to die or there's a good chance that I can die. And that right at this venue that we're having it, it very well is going to start the war and we got to prep for it the best we can. And I got to say, I mean, I don't want to give him too much credit in terms of like preparation, but like it, I kind of like, for me, it was pretty cool. Like the fact that they knew that something was going to happen, that they knew of other informants that were going on within their own ranks and then preparing for this and trying to get like the most optical out or op optimal outcome for their scenario that they're playing for. So it's interesting to see now, obviously cut it off when, um, you know, the jaw Titan went away and we have yet to see the cart Titan. I'm curious when Reiner gets back into this and, um, seeing where the pieces now pick up from where they fell and, um, go into the next layer of their plan. If they even have it, or we're at the point where it's like, we're just going balls to the wall and hoping for the best. I don't know, but, um, I'd assume that they might have a couple more tricks up their sleeve moving forward, or it's really that, or they're like, Warhammer, we're kind of putting a lot of faith in you right now to take out Aaron because uh, we got nothing, you know? And it's like, it's one of the two options. I, I mean, at least I'd assume, unless you guys have any more insight on that. But um, definitely, definitely, definitely ready for Reiner to come into play and see 
if he takes on Aaron one on one, or is that like an Ackerman problem or what? Because not gonna lie, I am always down to see another Aaron and Reiner fight. I mean, even they never get like, old. They never get old, even though sometimes they might seem one sided. I would love sometimes. to see. So, oh, but I'm, I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to give him a little yeah, something. Yeah, but yeah. um, you know, it. I I just want to see it again, bro. Please just just give me give me that bone, little bone. All right. Well, so I, I have thoughts on Willie, which is why I brought it up. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I guess for me, that had a interesting impact on me during the course of this episode in the beginning. I thought it was very telling because Willie is a character that I at first felt a bit of sympathy, dare I say, mm-hmm. and this sense of mystery around him in the sense that he is the one, at least from earlier you know, perspective, who's holding the wheel, right, as it were, the one that is trying to navigate this whole thing. And I think at the end of the road, just, you know, just to get ahead of this now, I don't support Willie, and I actually think he's he's pretty cowardly, or, or scum, rather. Maybe scum is the right word, not cowardly, for the reasons that I'm putting forward now. So it really blew my mind, actually, when he said, hey, I already know this is going to happen. I'm going to mm-hmm. sacrifice myself, right? Because I initially thought, I said, okay, well, Willie and them, like, you know, they might, they just, they don't have all the pieces, right? They know, they, they, they have to know that the people on Paradise Island are not all as bad as it's cracked up to be. They're just kind of turning this wheel because they know that it's like, it's already, the things are set in motion. I'm not going to pull Marley back. Like, this has already been a thing, et cetera. But it wasn't until Willie reveals in his speech last episode that he, has seen all the memories of the previous, you know, Warhammer Titan and all that kind of stuff and through the family line and through people in the comments, I found out that if it succeeds your family line, your memories are more intrinsically linked all the way up the chain. Whereas if you like, if Ymir, because she got the the jaw Titan stolen, Mm. the guy who stole it, why am I not forgetting his name? Whatever. But, his the memories of Marcel who had it before mm-hmm. her, he can see them a little because they're family, but they're a little hazy because they're getting blocked by the, Ymir. So he can gotcha. see Ymir's memories. So the Warhammer Titan, being that's in the Tiber family, and you could correct me if I'm wrong here in the comments, has been direct lineage all the way through. Okay. So they have a really good memory of every of single descendant that has had that Titan from there on out. So it really once I found out that and really kind of got the framework on that, I was like, I realized that I'm like, wow. Willie is actually just as cemented in the fact as the worst of them or King Fritz or whoever that he among with the Eldian people are actual scum like he is so solidified in this fact right now and in the in in such a way that he truly believes that his mission is a noble one it's not just that I'm okay I'm steering Marley because Marley's going to do what they want to do they're like you know they're just going to throw a rock through a window and we're just going to have to clean up the pieces and pay for it. Like, no, he truly, at least in my perception, and again, could be wrong here, but like my perception dictates that he is fully, fully in the camp of I am scum, Eldians are scum, and everything that they have coming to them, regardless of the bloodshed on either side, they have coming to them. And I think it was really telling in his conversation and his resolve, I guess, with Theo in being like, I am most likely going to die during this. I am fully cognizant. I'm fully aware of that. I'm leaving behind four kids or Mm. whatever the case might be. My whole family, this is going down. And he's like, and I'm willing to die and not care if any other Eldians in that area who, or whoever, officials from wherever, are going to die just if it means that we could annihilate the, the rest of these Eldians, which in turn means the subjugation of any ones that survive or the complete annihilation of them once Titans lose their relevancy, which is what I'd have to assume. So that was like really mind-blowing and terrifying to me that he is so cemented in that mindset and the guy at the wheel was so cemented in that the entire time. And I think it adds for this weird moral thing or or rather maybe not moral but like this like whole philosophical argument whatever i could throw big words out there all day i really don't know what i'm talking about but the point is is that i'm curious to know where you as a viewer land on that you know because or is it like now that you know that he genuinely believes his mission is noble you know is he as do you give him any sort of respect for the fact that he was willing to die for that cause do you not i personally think that gets stripped away once he offers the other people to die in service of that. Um, but I don't know. I think it's, I think he's, he's very deluded, but he's deluded into the sense that what he, his mission is a noble one. And I thought that was very interesting with his character. And then we get the flash forward and it's like, it's all, it's all coming together now. So I, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. And if any of you guys have thoughts in the comments, let us hear them. But anyway, I know you wanted to talk about it. So go ahead, take it away. Everything else. All right. So yeah, now that the Willie Jack out the way. <laughs> 
Let's get to good. <laughs> oh my god! Which is Aaron just ripping apart every nigga he can get his hands on, like every single person that's within some realm of on the same piece of earth that he is 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 is, is like up to die, and he proves it by literally wrestling style elbow slamming <laughs> an entire. He gave him the like, people's elbow, dude. Fleet of uh, Marley and soldiers, <laughs> and that was it. They're all dead. I mean, like not every single one, but the ones who weren't arguably are in a fate now worse than death. And oh, so one of the things though that I do find interesting is Gabby's like. Uh, you know, the things that happened to Gabby, her her mental shift in this, um, because while I don't personally like Gabby as a character, I do think it's interesting that the one person who was like a shoe in and the one person who really wanted to be the inheritor of the next the armored Titan um, is now getting to see firsthand the kind of shit that she'd have to do to other places and people like that's not it, you know, it is for a kid to see that kind of stuff and be exposed to it. It's like, yeah, that's traumatizing, but it's not trauma that she would never, ever get to see. She'd arguably she would be the one doing it. You know what I mean? So, and like, sure, I guess like you could argue the perspective is different because if she's destroying her, her enemies, then it's like, oh, well, but like, then again, yeah, but like, then again, that's, that's sort of the point though, mm-hmm. is that like, all you got to do is flip, put the shoe on the other foot and all mm-hmm. of a sudden it's okay. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. make any sense. If mm-hmm. you sure. are going to be the armor Titan, who's going to run around here and destroy a bunch of Eldians and people like, then you need to understand or, you know, a wake up call in my mind that like the same is going to happen to like you guys are not you know invincible or or immune to this kind of thing like aaron is just doing what you would do as the armor aaron is just doing what it like you know what i mean we're we're at war here these are you know you do, both of these sides are are fighting to the death you know what I mean? to, to protect their loved ones and, and whatever so i i find it interesting that like gabby now that she's had a little taste of like the kind of real trauma and damage that these titans can do um she doesn't look as uh, as thrilled or as happy about it, and I and I wonder if that's going to. I mean, I actually don't think it's going to change her mind in the sense of being like, oh, maybe we like like going towards Falco side of thinking, where it's like, oh, maybe we should like rethink how we do this, and and I actually think she's going to go down the path that Aaron went down, and she's going to like sort of really cement herself in her her anger and her aggression and her hatred towards uh, Eldians and 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 you know everybody from Paradise Island. Um, you know, which is going to be, you know, I think the the counter to someone like Falco, who I do think, um, you know, it'll take some work, but I do think he's he can walk away from this situation uh, a better man and a different man than like someone like Gabby, where he might actually walk away, hopefully with like the strength and the the perspective to like look past this and and try and mm-hmm. like you know get a real grasp on the bigger picture because that's really what we've you know when we talk about Attack on Titan, like that's what the whole nail in the coffin here is that like everybody keeps getting roped into this cycle. And as long as that happens, like, that's just, that's forever going to be the case. Sure. Yeah. Gavin, what do you got? So, so a couple of interest, or a couple of points I want to add on that. Definitely for Gabby, I, you can just see it in her face, especially when the two soldiers got iced right next to her and she's looking down just that, that resentment and that anger that was just like, you can just hone in and literally feel it off of her. And I mean, she's usually a pretty angry girl to begin with, especially with just her inner relationships with her friends. But like at that moment, you kind of look at her and you're like, oh, she can just kill a whole crowd of people right now. Like, she is not having it. And I can definitely see that just brewing and brewing and brewing as she gets older, and it's really just going to boil into something absolutely insane. And we might see it sooner than later because I'm definitely curious, and I know Ian's going to want to get to this point too, when she picks up the rifle and what that can mean and what that might bring, what and what that's going to bring to the table further on because Attack on Titan, as we know, they wouldn't have her picking up a gun if it's not going to come into play later on down the series. So is that going to be, you know, in terms of a bullet in the back of somebody's head or a distraction or a signal or whatever? I don't know, but knowing Gabby, she definitely is going to run, probably run right in there and get her hands dirty. So I'm curious if, who, and when she might take out or what. But another thing from that specific scene um, is when after, you know, they had that look down with Sasha and they put that light on top of the roof. I really wonder what that's for um, later on. I don't know if that's like a like a sign of, oh, we cleared this area, now we're good to go, or if this is like maybe guiding someone or people far away, if it's almost like... Um, I think of it like a lighthouse, like you're like leaving like a breadcrumb trail for like someone to follow or come to. I don't know, or just or just a normal signal. I'm definitely curious to see what that light is because it's probably going to be something significant down the road. And also Falco coming out of this because I don't think it's going to be as easy as a transition for him. Like he does, he is of an opposite mindset of Gabby, but I also feel like he is going to be more traumatized, at least in the shortcoming that we see him next. 
especially because he is going to feel very guilty um, for, you know, obviously um, following through with Aaron's notes, although at the time he didn't know, you know, the actual, like, levity of doing said events. But he is going to have to, like, live with those actions that he did in the past and, like, really accept what has happened. And, be like, he, long story short, he has a lot of hurdles to overcome, especially with the stuff that he's done in the past unknowingly. And I'm curious how he comes out and how he really handles those inner that inner turmoil that he's going to go through. And that's, what's going to be interesting. Cause it's not going to be a matter of, Oh, I'm a good guy. It's, you know, I'm a better man. He's definitely going to suffer a bit until he can like climb and find the light out. So yeah. definitely curious to see, see him next and how, how he handled that whole fucking blowing up in the face from Aaron. Like, like we can't forget Reiner and him got kabloomied in the same room. <laughs> kabloomied. Like, I some damage might be done to him. We yeah, don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. like for all I know, I mean, it's it's not. Never mind. I mean, it's not even gonna happen. But he could be hurt. He could be. Who you know, knows? Could he never know. Lost a leg like, or something like that, and right, like whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless. They're endless. The point, so we don't know. But yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head with Falco in particular in that. It's gonna take a lot for him to get over this, especially because the real kicker and is the implicit guilt that he feels mm -hmm. in bringing this to death to his family's door right and to the door of all of his nation and his people that's the real kicker like gabby is someone who has kind of already had a cemented ideology yep. towards these island devils from the rip right that she was pretty unshaken in that foundation she wants to be a hero she's very uh ag aggressive in the sense that she's not very agreeable she's willing to to do acts of bravery things like that like she didn't really have second thoughts on this whole thing, whereas Falco now has, unfortunately, those second thoughts, while they could be good because his mind is open, they've been taken advantage of, yep. which is the, real, is the real kicker here. And now it's like Falco has this whole moral dilemma of being like, well, maybe I should have been just cemented in this because they were devils the whole time. Like, why did I even give them the light of day in my mind? I don't know. I could be going down a rabbit hole, but that's, I think you did hit the nail on the head. I do think Gabby picking up that rifle is going to be really relevant. And I was telling these guys before we turn the cameras on here, I am really scared for the squad now because, you know, let's put together things. It's the last season. The story's got to come to some kind of head, obviously. But the thing is, is that, and they're already in the thick of it. It's a war zone. And from the preview we saw for next episode, all the Titans are cut loose for the most part, um, minus the Warhammer and potentially Armin because we haven't seen him yet. So someone's got to die is my point here. Like someone's got to die from the squad. And it really just sucks because it's like, we're at the point now. I mean, I'm sure they've recruited a couple new people where it's like, okay, maybe they're extras, right? They could like, they can die. But for the most part, I think there were like what nine or something of them left when they got out of the, the last fight, barely in the end of season three. So it's like, all the scouts now, at least for the most part, like, you know their names. It's not like some rando is just, like, eating a rock to the head, which is terrible, obviously. But it's like, you're associate every face, every name has a face associated to it now. So each one of them that dies, and inevitably one of them will, is it stings. It, like, it really stings. You know it has to happen. And now that we've established Gabby and crew, right, and 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 especially since so, uh, Sophie and uh, Una, uh, Uda... U Uno, not Uno. Some U Uga. I'm not uh, pronouncing Udon, U Udon, U Udon, Udon noodles. No, that that kid who got trampled. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, basically, yeah. Udo, Udo. something like that. Sorry about that. But anyway, he like those two. You know, they're out. There's gonna be some sort of retaliation through her. Her anger is definitely taking over her. And what from what's you know, she's talented. She's been in war before. She was the one who took out the tank in the beginning of the first episode, right? So. I predict that she's going to kill Sasha personally because I think that whole stare down and the fact that Sasha just sniped the two dudes that she's had relations with, whether it's in passing or not, and those, you know, she's going to kill Sasha. Yeah. I really, I, that's my prediction. I, I could be wrong, but I think that like she, if she has a choice to kill anyone and there's an opportunity that because she looked in the eyes of that killer, like to her, like that's reason enough that she needs for it. It's no, going to be crazy. I'm, I'm going to put so? on record, if they kill my girl Sasha, bro. <laughs> They're killing Sasha. They can kill anyone else. <laughs> if, if Sasha's going down, Mikasa's going too. And you can what? at me all you want and get flame me angry. I don't care. I love Sasha. <laughs> and I swear... <laughs> To attack on Titan God, they better <laughs> not her. take her down because I will take down this show. 
Gavin goes. Thank you. Gavin goes. I swear to Ymir, if they take down, <laughs> if they take down this girl. No, no. no but I mean, yeah. No, and, and I, the, it probably is. And so happen. to touch on the light thing. That, <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, oh, it's probably happening. No, I don't want it to. I will no, die on no. this hill. I mean, it's gonna happen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can like they had that stare down. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like they they it's, had that like. Well, it that could eye be. Eye. It could be just a thing of her memorizing the scouts. Like maybe she doesn't memorize yeah. Sasha specifically or go after Sasha specifically, but she's like. I know what they look like. They have mm. the black uniforms, and anybody with that uniform is an enemy. She's her. definitely out for him, but I do think that she's like had yeah. the rival thing now, where it's like you killed my father type thing. You know what I'm saying? I, like I, I I'm, appreciate I you know. trying to give me the hope, Isaiah, but I'm I just gotta, oh, I gotta wasn't really the bridge for now. Sasha. Gotta, like, it's just that like <laughs> of the group, that one dude who's on the team now who literally got roped into it because he was just the only one of the only dudes that left. Forgot his name again. Um, Damn yeah, it. I don't remember his sorry, name. Guys. The red hair he guy can go though. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you know what I mean. I don't remember his name. Yeah, yeah. Compared to compared to my. My homies, yeah. my boys oh, and yeah. girls, he can go. So, so I have a thing with the lights, actually, that you were that you were saying okay. that I'm curious that I'm as you were saying it, I was thinking, and I'm wondering if those lights are for Armin. And the reason I say oh, that the is theory. because they they said one of the guys says, I think is Jean says to red haired guy crucify me um he's like yo like relax with the civilian killing you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. you can't do that and he's like well they've done this that and the third and he's in this mindset where it's like they're all guilty type thing you know the deal but the point is is that if possible it seems as if they're trying to avoid civilian casualties and you know they came to this island which or this uh to marley which we'll talk about like begrudgingly the fact like Aaron's like, I'm going to do from what we could surmise. Aaron's like, I'm going to do this. So like y'all want to hop across or not? You know what I'm saying? And like, by the time they got there and we'll get into that in a moment. But my point is, is that it's like, I don't think now that their plan from the rip was like to go over and like, let's just slaughter as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. So I do wonder, I am curious, and this is just a off the wall theory here, if the lights, because Armin is just like obviously so freaking big, if that is something that clues Armin in on what sections have been cleared, like where That's the path that he thinking. navigates, yes. if he has to transform to not mm. completely annihilate every single innocent civilian that has been, you know, that is there where yeah. it's like, here's a light. Okay, don't go there. Like, make a right. You know what I'm saying? Make a left. Do whatever. I'm wondering. Now, you yeah. could argue that it's like he's so big that clearly he could see, but that that's just it, right? He's so big that, like, he might not be able to differentiate a ghetto from, like, a military base or, or they're whatever like the clearing, case Almost like a perimeter around. Yeah, I'm curious. Them. I could yeah. be dead wrong on that, but I, I have a feeling, like, like you said before, everything that happens in Attack on yeah. Titan has relevancy in some way, shape, or form, so those lights were not put there just for the hell of it, to be like, let's spruce up the place. Like, there's clearly a reason <laughs> behind that, you know? So, um, but, dude, I have to say, right, Aaron, bro, when Aaron... Yeah, can we get into this fight? Yeah, can we get into this fight? <laughs> when Aaron like, damn. rocked, the rocked that Warhammer Titan before she even... Spot, first of all, I think we all called that. Was everyone in agreement that the, that sister was definitely the yeah, Warhammer? We, oh, yeah, 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 we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we all called that, that shit a while ago, yeah. Dude, when he... Well, no, it's his sister. It's his sister. It's, it's his, his younger sister. It is his sister. It's his yes, younger yes, sister because yes, she says yes, older yes. brother. You said, oh, I thought you said maid for some reason. Um, well, I thought that's her job, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean her not the sister, right? No, no, that's not. No, 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 no. The the maid was the the girl that looked like Sophie. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. just okay. But anyway, yo, where she <laughs> she she didn't even fully transform. Aaron just bop, just like rocked that yeah. Titan right in the grill before it even formed the face. Because it's like, like it's like fighting ah! games where it's like, bro, you gotta let my intro play out. Sure, you know what sure. I mean? It's like every. Every Titan that we've seen fight, they get like the at least the honor of like transforming fully first, <laughs> sure. and then it's like let's go. But she got like seventy five percent, and Aaron was like, <laughs> and like I'm not letting you go because the because and to his credit, the second she got up, like or that she was ready, like she the Warhammer Titan is a formidable opponent just by itself Insane. because of how yeah. well it can like utilize the whole hardening ability. Yeah, it literally can just make whatever the it wants <laughs> as a weapon. Crossbows, it had hammers, crossbows, swords, uh, can spikes shooting up at the ground. That at giant the ground. spike, yeah. yeah, that pierced him at the beginning. Like that, yeah, that Titan's terrifying to fight against. And to be honest, my money, I, I don't care. Listen, you know, help or not, Aaron won. But um, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like one on one for everything. Like that's a hard, that's Look, a tall all, order, man, to fight one of those one on one. All I've been saying, like, colossal, like is that's tough. from episode one. If you can go back to these videos, because I remember saying it clear as day. This is all I've wanted. As I wanted this episode, I was like, Falco's cool. 
Gabby's kind of a bitch. <laughs> like, you know, these new characters are, I, I don't know. I don't really care about them at all. I just want to see my niggas tear up <laughs> property, bro. I want to see them take names. I want blood. This show has made me a savage nigga. I don't care. Aaron rolled up in here and he was like, I'm going to stomp all of the in the ground. And I was like, do it, do it, do it now. Like, Damn. I just, and so this episode was like literal drugs for me, bro. Yeah. I, every, cause every second of it was just some bad ass dopamine kick shit happening. And I loved it when he's fighting with the, the war or the warhammer Titan. And then just when, She's about to fucking drop the hammer down on him and is like, you have any last words? And drops it down and then Mikasa comes Oh, in. dude. Oh, first off, Mikasa's best girl. That's just... Oh, that was and facts. This episode that was factual because evidence. Because yeah. around here running That's around the lights on yeah. and, shit and, and, and firing random guns. Mikasa <laughs> almost single-handedly took on the war fucking hammer titan. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. <laughs> yeah that was that was wild i do love how though when any of you guys because you're totally guilty of this too gabba whenever any of you are like yo this waifu's great not only do you say that this is my waifu then you proceed to shit on everybody else's oh, 100%. Waifu. yeah but it's all good because you know sasha's just better and like totally not made compared to mikasa so oh man anyway <laughs> listen, listen we can't go down the rabbit hole uh, uh, so many people are gonna be yeah, so mad there's so many people like, how do you say sasha better than mikasa Chile, you good, you good, friend. We all, no, we all got Gavin, that. Love. I'm saying it's not. They're gonna be like, get back to the point. Like not yeah, this yeah, Hawaii yeah. No, no, thing. No, no. But no, that was Mikasa's entrance was fantastic. I think this, the the fact that she still wore the scarf and she says the things that she's like, Aaron, you realize you killed kids. She's like, this is it. She's like, I'm, I'm gonna follow you. Like I'm here. We got your back. But like. You realize what you've done, right? Like this yeah. is this is it, this right? Isn't like some, I'm sorry. Shit. Yeah, like, this is like, it. Like this is it. So like, I really hope you were really you had your resolve on this one, and I hope you're willing to see this through because like we're here. You dragged us all into this now. Like it's going down. And, so, I, and I truly think like, because uh, I, I I do believe there's a part that, that oh, I'm sorry. I do believe there was a part of Aaron prior to his you know, uh, basement explosion. Um, that like didn't want to do this, that didn't want things to go about this way. Sure. But I think once that happened, like that way that he responds to Mikasa when she's like, you understand that like we can't go back from here. And he's like, yeah. eyes in front, the fight's not over. Yeah. Like, I think he, I think he's 100% steel. I yeah. Think he knows the situation he's in now and he's like. I think he looks at her fight. like, I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I understand that you don't have to tell me. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew these things before even going in, this was going to happen and he like has I made this, my like, choice. He has this like, you know, even amidst all this, this like fighting, like this cool and collected presence about him, like even while the Warhammer Titan is just jacking it up and everybody's like, you know, he's like sitting there analyzing it. And he's like, oh, well, that's interesting. And like, yeah. just the way that he, he, he operates and the way that he functions and moves, it's, it's totally like Aaron is the most, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. He's like, Aaron is the most unified in, that he's ever been in terms of like what he's thinking and what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and I think it, it shows in the way, uh, like I said, how quickly he analyzes and dispatches the Warhammer Titan because like Gavin was saying at the very beginning, I kind of, th I mean, up until the next episode now when we have the rest of the Motley crew of Titans <laughs> coming out, uh, the Warhammer Titan was like kind of their best option in the sense that it was the one that like we've never seen anything we've never seen before we've never faced before like we have the beast titan and the car titan and all them but like we we know what they're about like we know you know where they stand and more importantly we've fought in them before i mean at least except for the uh, car, uh cart and jaw titan um which doesn't seem like a problem because when the jaw <laughs> titan does eventually show up yeah my hero levi <laughs> has no problem literally taking his fucking jaw that was off. such an entrance like, bro what Oh. That was an entrance, man. Because we had we were saying it before we put the cameras on. Mikasa was like the, it was like the, this was like the Grant the Ackerman show, and Mikasa was like the first you know the first thing. Levi was the main event, and don't listen, we're not downplaying Mikasa because that was fantastic. She's amazing, but and then Levi, of course, fashionably late comes in it's like where's levi and then it's like and i even found myself asking that even though i knew full well yeah. it's like of course i'm gonna yeah. wait until the last second to reveal levi but oh like, where's levi you know and at that last second first of all why am i freaking forgetting the jaw titan's name the jaw who's the, the jaw titan attack on titan season four the, um the oh like the name of the guy the person yeah why the hell is this why i don't know I not really I'm just gonna well anyway as i'm as i'm looking that up i love how he come porco that's it 
Um, I love how Porco comes in and he just feels justified in his, you know, he's like, I've been waiting for this to take the founding Titan. Like I'm going to do this oh, when he comes sure. up and sneaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, Porco, <laughs> sit down real quick. Let me tell you a little story. And it's like, you weren't there, dude. You know what I mean? Like when we went through this whole five year stint, right? When, when everything was undercover, you weren't there when your brother got eaten. Okay. You weren't there for you, or you weren't there for anything. You don't understand. Like, you don't, if anyone doesn't deserve it, it's you. So, like, get the out of my face. And I get it where he's like, okay, Marcel, my brother, whatever. But it was like, it was just so amazing to see him think that it was like he was just, he was entitled to this. He was entitled to all of it. And then Levi just comes down and he's like, let me give you a little piece of humble pie real quick and just sliced his jaw off like on a dime. He literally was like, let me roll up in here and take this founding titan. And Levi came up right behind him and said, hi. Levi, leader of the devils, the devils on paradise. I'm about to take your jaw. Like you're not, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, like jaw you just don't, And then like that ending, we t that that ending shot when he's like talking about, it, he's like, wait, what the fuck's going on here? Like mm. I'm a titan. Yeah, and these people are just flying at me with the intent to kill. Like uh -huh. they're. They're the devils of, and oh. oh, that was fantastic. Where it's like the fear of God. And that's what I was saying. Like Porco has not been there. Like he's not, that's what I mean. You know, yeah, he yeah, can yeah. talk all the smack on Reiner that he wants. He's always given Reiner grief about like, what are you going to do this? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, Reiner has literally died. He's like a cat. The guy has died like, <laughs> like nine times. Like it's like ridiculous. It's like the guy's experienced death. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. multiple times. Like, like stop Porco. Like you have, you don't understand. You don't understand anything that's really yeah, yeah, going yeah. on grand scheme of things. Or it's like a lot like, of the Marley and soldiers, right? Like the way they talk about the people on, on Paradise Island are like, oh, these like these devils are like, we'll go over there and stop them. And it's like, bro, we've been doing nothing but fighting Titans for ages over here, bro. <laughs> like, come, come at my fucking front door because I'm fucking ready. <laughs> yeah, oh that God. was... That was fantastic. I, <laughs> that was crazy. And it was also like beyond the Warhammer Titan being absolutely busted in the sense that the hardening ability is literally maxed out, right? Like at your, like skill tree, <laughs> yeah. hardening yeah, ability, yeah, yeah. max. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't, we don't need anything else. That, that's the only ability. Not only that, the fact that it's not even in the nape. So it's like, yeah. if you're not a Titan, how the f*** do you even fight her, right? No. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, she's literally in a crystallized thing. You're probably not, like, I don't know if, like, you could cut the umbilical cord, so, so to speak, right? That's connected to the foot and kind of turn it off, which is kind of what Aaron does. So, like, fair enough, a yeah, human yeah, could yeah. beat it. But, like, dude, you're not getting her because that, that's, well, like, impenetrable. And you got you to gotta deal with that. You know what I mean? The, the whole way up. But so. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. uh, well, no. Yeah, because no, it did seem like when he cut it, it like it, it, whatever it, like, that separated her. Yeah, leg. and I yeah, wonder yeah, yeah. how fast she can transform from there, or like even that crystal thing. I because we've seen it before. Obviously, is that yeah. like uh, something she needs to have prepared beforehand? I, I don't. Guessing? Well, it seems I, like, like that's I think she does. makes it when she transforms. Maybe. But it's a thing like sort of like what we've seen with Annie, where it's like once she goes in there. She can't just willingly drop out. Like the crystal has to like it. Like it'll take time for her to mm -hmm. to like. It, well, come either out that of it. or she doesn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, yeah, the second sure. she pops out, she's gonna get you know like beat the hell up. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, fair you know, enough. so there there is that. I, I think that she could probably do that on a dime because Annie mm -hmm. kind of does that on a dime. Yeah. Um, but I think like you know she could then. So yeah, I guess that's it. I don't. I, okay, to answer your question, I guess is like, does she have to do that all in one shot, or is mm -hmm. it like could she be crystal and be like Titan, 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 yeah. and just keep on spawning? it because that would be ridiculous you know but that's what i'm saying i was like mm. i guess the only thing is that they they have established that the titans when they transform they need energy back 100%. like it takes a lot of energy in order yes. to transform and so Aaron, who's been training that remember in like season two i want to say mm -hmm. where they have him being like how many times can you do this before you you so i don't know if there's a tolerance you build up to that like working out a muscle that's true. Or you I know what i'm saying it's different for somebody like the warhammer titan who's not physically embodying the Titan. Sure. Exactly. Because she essentially just trans when she transforms, she just goes into a cocoon yes. and then the actual Titan transforms and mm -hmm. does whatever. Now yeah, I guess it might you take more that energy that or whatever. Yeah, that's is what, what connects them. Yeah. And it's kind of the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah. But like it's indirect. It's not the same sure. thing as like being in the Titan and having to move and Yeah. But needless to say, absolutely busted. And oh, I could see yeah, why this sure, Titan sure. just like wrecked people's days <laughs> because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's ridiculous. Everything that this thing could yeah. do. Also so it looked dope. Like I love oh, the design. Really of sweet. Yeah. I loved it too. It yeah. Ass. And then when Aaron rips it out of the ground, bro, <laughs> I mean obviously the thing jumped on his neck, but the second Levi cut that thing, if I was Aaron, I would be like, oh I'm just like, <laughs> I would just cram a ball down my throat immediately. Like the same like <laughs> the second that happened, I wouldn't even have turned. I 
would have been like, you guys got it? Great. <laughs> just like, ate that thing. Because damn, bro, if he he's going to, dude, if he misses the opportunity to eat that Warhammer Titan, because yeah. I have a feeling he's going to, right? I have a feeling the Warhammer Titan has a bigger role to play in, in like the whole course of this. That'd be kind of awkward. Although it would be just, interesting that because they've, they've referenced over and over the fact that the Warhammer Titan has stayed in the Tiber family for so long, uh-huh. it not, like leaving the Tiber family and somebody else getting it. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder, know. too, if they're... I think somebody brought this up in comments as a prediction. Somebody... I, or I could be dead wrong. I wonder if... Because we've established that you inherit the, the memories of the prior... The predecessor to you who mm-hmm. had previous Titan, right? So, like, Aaron having the attack Titan has his father. And then... It, well, his father's memories. Maybe fragmented owl memories. I don't know. And he has... Reese memories, or, or sure. at least whoever had it last, the yeah, girl, yeah. right? The, the female, and then his father by proxy. So I guess, like, the point is, is that there's, like, there's a will and there's a resolve and there's and there there's a will, right? Within the, the memory, within the framework, within intrinsically linked to each one of these Titans and their families. So I can't help but think the more Titans that Aaron eats, if he does decide to eat more or successfully can, if these ideologies and if these different things are all going through his mind like if it's it's like fragmenting his state of mind and if it's like the more not only physically for him to handle is hard but like mentally taking on the memories of all these people and all these different philosophies and the reasonings for why they did things like that's a lot to ask for for one person to be able to handle all of that with inside their own mind. So if he does eat the Warhammer Titan, I'm very interested in the fact that he now has the Founding Titan and the Warhammer, which were the two Titans that were most gung-ho about the whole Eldians or scum thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we're going to go like, we can't take this anymore. We deserve all the, we deserve all the punishment that we can get for sure, our sins. Sure. So I do find that as something that I'm wondering is going to play a role if he does wind up successfully eating the Warhammer That's Titan. That's interesting. You know? I do think that there's something to to that because i think like just where aaron is now and that's really only with the founding and the attack titan like that coupled with aaron's memories like it, it's one thing to like hear somebody's story it's another thing to literally be able to retell it from memory right yeah. to have experienced it however indirect you want to you know that is um but yeah it's a different play once we're talking about the titans that have memories of uh you know, people over on over here with that or with the Marlians, because now it's like how many, how many different memories, lives, you know, psyches can like one person take on before there is nothing left. There is a nothing left of that one person anymore, or B there is so little of that person left that like it, whatever it is is irrelevant. You know what I mean? Like Aaron, I don't know if this is a thing of like Aaron trying to collect all the Titans so that nobody they have no other threat against them, but sure. in turn, like, loses himself yeah. to these Titans and, you know, whatever. Um, also, I, I, I'm curious, like, if somebody, if he were, like, let's say Aaron consumes all the Titans and then he dies, like, where do they, what do, where do they go? So I think they would get split randomly amongst. Just, like, Yeah, because they, the they say that it's, like, if nobody gets eaten, like, it'll find its way back into an LD and in some way, shape, or form, it'll mm-hmm. just happen randomly by circumstance, by chance. So yeah. I'm assuming if he had all nine and then dies, that, and so long as he doesn't get eaten, of course, mm-hmm. it'll just, inevitably, they'll pop up somewhere. Um, that's at least my prediction. Yeah, but um, That's crazy. Yeah, that that was, a, yeah, that was a baller fight. That was nuts. Um, really crazy stuff going on. Yeah. And, yeah, just the know, absolute. So, carnage. As far as the future episode, I want to know a who that bearded soldier was because he clearly was at the very least a Marleyan soldier who's actually an Eldian sympathizer and like you know w- was on the sides of of um you know Levi and, and and Aaron and company um or he's like some undercover I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know like anything about him I don't know really you know I don't know uh how to how to judge. Yeah, well, I don't want to say anything because actually I do know who he is and I don't know if it's, it's not like a spoiler per se, but I want, just in case you don't want to know, you want to theorize about it because the fact that it wasn't Armin, uh, we definitely got some flack for in the comments. So, (laughs) and they let me know up and down to the rooftops of who it was. So, um, I do have to say something (laughs) I did. No, I, I do. You got, you got me thinking now. And I do want to, I do want to address this for anyone who's made it this far. First of all, thank you for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed the discussion, but I have to say for anyone that's thinking of commenting and wants to share their thoughts, especially I, I talk to manga readers in this scenario, being that you guys obviously have so much more knowledge than we do at this point. So a lot of the fun in this is theorizing and trying to predict things that are going to happen, even if we are dead wrong, trying to use context clues from the show, get excited about it, et cetera, and formulate these discussions. If there's something that we explicitly ask for clarification on, clarify away. 
go nuts. I, you know, right. I, I read a lot of these comments that are like a two paragraph thing, a five paragraph essay on like why this thing is X or like, here are some points that like, you may want to get a little more clarification on if it's something that we should already know or are asked to know. But, and, and I bring this up because of the circumstance with, um, with Armin, the discrepancy with that character, um, that is something which might not be a major spoiler, but some might consider a spoiler. And I mean, like I'm kind of okay, but like, you know, God forbid these guys read the comments and they're not, or it's something that kind of crosses the line. Just be really careful with that, especially when this is a character that we don't know of, you know, in, in some way, shape or form or how don't have prior knowledge to, um, because yeah, we might've got it screwed up and it's not Armin, but we shouldn't know who that is. And that's kind of part of the fun of theorizing who it could be, as you just saw with Isaiah naturally going to that. And which is why I'm bringing this up. So just kind of a public service announcement on that. If you feel, feel free to comment. We don't want to discourage anyone from commenting their thoughts and theories and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to something that we shouldn't know yet, you don't have to let us know that it is going to that be that before it happens, no matter how small it is, because we've waited far too long for the show to finally come back. <laughs> and the more little pieces and clues you get together, it might not be one big spoiler, but you start to put things together and connect the dots and it becomes a little less thrilling as it all comes to fruition because you already had a lot of the pieces, although fragmented. But anyway, that's my PSA. Um, but yeah, that'll be exciting to see that character uh, because we because even though I know who it is, I don't know who it is. You know, it, it, you get what I mean. But um, yeah, that no, that'll don't actually okay. At all. Great, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, yeah. but yeah, I just don't read the comments because I'm gonna be a hundred. I don't trust y'all niggas. At all. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. Uh, I don't like I like Ian said. I have waited too long, and I don't trust a single one of you to not put something in there. Because if you do, I'm finding you. I'm, I'm gonna find out where you live, and I'm coming for your mom. <laughs> Um, so that's just, that's what it is. I, I wish, I wish, I wish we weren't in the scenario we're in, but we all, much like Attack on Titan, the cards are on the table. We all know where we're at. So don't spoil the show. You, you skip it straight to the mama, bro. <laughs> so anyway, I'm coming, I'm coming for your mama. No, that's wild. Anyway, I also, one of my, one of my things I want to know about is, uh, Armin. I want to know like mm. what, he, you know, obviously I want to know, but okay. I, my prediction for his role in this is I was saying it before uh, off camera. I think that it's going to be a thing of like, they told, they brought Armin with them, but like told him purposely not to get involved in this fight. Mm. A, because if he gets put, if his back is in a corner, uh, like it, in his human form, if he gets beat and then eaten by a Titan, it's game over. Yeah. So the only way that he surefire has an advantage is if he transforms. But if he transforms, every living thing here is f sure. So like they were like, "Yo, stay back. Don't get involved in this. We'll handle it. We'll make sure Aaron's okay. We promise we're not gonna let him die. What like do not come over here because if you do, you're probably gonna end up having to transform. And if you transform, we're done. Every everything's mm. over. So I personally think like what I was saying before. I actually think that they're forming a perimeter for him because they know that he's inevitably going to have to transform. And my prediction is that when they locked up the Titans. Um, jaw, cart, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they full well knew that that plan wasn't going to be forever, and that they were inevitably going to escape at some point or another. So their element of surprise with Aaron had to be a surefire. They at least had to take care of the Warhammer Titan because that was the only one that they didn't have accounted for. And I do believe that because they know that these Titans are going to join the fight eventually, and there are limited amounts of them, that like they have a bazooka, like they're going to use it. So I I do have the feeling that what they're doing right now is that they're trying with the lights, trying to form a perimeter for Armin to transform so that he kills hopefully no one, but the least amount of possible innocence, and then has room to fight that the X amount of Titans that so are congregating in that area. I don't think that theory... I don't agree with the theory personally, just because I kind of feel like like it doesn't matter. Like the Colossal Titan's a little too big in scale and size to be like, oh, we put lights along these like routes here, only going these routes. And it's like, dude, the Colossal Titan steps foot on this ground, like he's so maybe not everything. the routes. Let me let me correct it real fast because you are right. So if it it would be a little unrealistic if it was like make a left at Albuquerque, you know what I mean? Like go here. I actually think to correct my initial theory here that it's like a literal perimeter. Like they're going to form a, like a giant space to like drive the people off. You know what I mean? The innocents into their ghettos. And then it's going to be like a circle or a square or whatever the case is. They're going to form a big wasteland of an area that is just military and Titans form to transform. If mm -hmm. you know, just, just to clarify on my theory. No, no, no. I, 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 okay. That's, I, I don't know. I still think it's like a, it's a little too like, 
Because he's he's just so, there's just so much like you have you can't account for. Where sure. it's like when you're dealing with something as big as a colossal titan, I personally think that my theory is they're putting up the lights not to signal Armin to like come into this area only, mm. but to give him an all clear to transform outside of like the okay. area okay. to cut off the Marleyans' escape. Oh, so that they could can't be get anywhere, mm. so that they can end this fight here, and they don't mm. have a chance to go running over to Paradise Island or get in boats and, or call for backup, because don't sure. forget, we're not just talking about Marley here. They do have aid yeah. from other yeah, places yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. So if, if they have the Colossal Titan handling the literal perimeter, as in yeah. like the outskirts of the, the island they're on or whatever, um, and then Aaron and company inside, they can effectively that could be better. That, that actually could be a better theory now that I'm thinking about it, because they said um, they're bringing all the ships in. Yeah. They're, they're bringing yeah, like 33,000 yeah. ships, so yeah. if he is on the outside and he's just like <laughs> and he yeah, just gets exactly. rid of yeah, all yeah. the ships he's you know like what I mean he just sw- <laughs> yeah, he just swiffer dust them off of the thing be like <laughs> yeah, yeah, bye yeah. bye you know what, what I'm saying, saying. and, and like I said it, it handles the war on both fronts and like I they, that they could have I mean, obviously like something will go wrong I think but like <laughs> you know that sounds like a pretty foolproof plan in terms of like squashing this fight here so we don't have to worry about it getting over to paradise yeah what do you think Kevin I don't know because the ships are the only other factor I I initially, I'm still kind of leaning in this camp because I can't help but think that Armin is uh, Erwin 2.0 and that he is the one who, like, he is the one who's not as making all these plans per se, but he has a big heavy foot in it. So for me, <laughs> Dude, I, sh- yeah. unintended. Mm. So for me, I don't think that it's necessarily there. Like with Isaiah initially said that they're telling uh, um, Armin to stay back, don't fight, wait for it. I think it's actually in his own mindset that he doesn't want to fight at this point, and okay. he among his own personality doesn't want to be a part of the civilians but knows what has to be done so Aaron is taking care of that I still think that this is a perimeter that is going to be him for at least a backup plan if he does need to make an appearance in there if not I could see him playing an outside role but I'm of the mindset that it is a perimeter of some sort in some way that he himself doesn't want to put himself into the fight a because he doesn't want to be a part of civilian casualties and b because it doesn't really make sense for his character to come into play until you really need it he is the last ace up to sleeve the trump card he is like you don't just pull him out first move you got sure. he, he's end game you know and he knows that it's just within the character he's it's always been used that way so unless it's for the ships which could be dope if like literally he is just in the water just like <laughs> kicking him grabbing him smashing him like i would pay money to see that bro like i would be on that beach eating some popcorn being like you go, boy. You go. But it's literally Godzilla. I don't know. Like, God- it's, it's like Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. or they have some other contingent, like contingency plan. If they know that these ships are going to happen, so they meet them with more ships, or like I don't they think they have other- the ships to meet them. I with. don't think they have the yeah. ships, but they have to have something. You know, if it's I think 30, it's they have an Armin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, that's true. They have an Armin, but it's like I don't, I don't know. It's yeah. it. Well, we'll have to find out. Yeah, we'll have yeah, to find yeah. Because, yeah, we got to remember that the Eldians fight in a very different way because they have to. You know what oh, I mean? 100%. Off, yeah, off yeah. of the way that they've advanced in technology and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. So there, there's definitely different ways of fighting, which makes it that much tougher for people Marleyans, honestly, yeah, because yeah, they're yeah. never they they don't know how to fight this kind of yeah, enemy. Even right? had, uh, what is it? The one head Marleyan guy Theo. even has yeah. a um has a line where he's like, "Oh, that's like you you know this isn't like war." Right, we don't know what the enemy's using to attack, when they're going to attack, how they're going to do it. Like, there's so many variables and aspects to this battle that are not traditional. That are not mm. like your your you know team is on on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's like the fifth time you've killed him. <laughs> He's so top heavy. <laughs> As you smack I say it goes him, like this. He's, he's top so top heavy. Because <laughs> I hit his head, which would then drop. No, over I the know. Rest it's just body. funny that you're like, D- why is your head so big? But you're the one who keeps on hitting him accidentally. It's <laughs> just like funny. <laughs> anyway, maybe move him in front of your mic. Not possible. Um, I think like so. What I think is interesting is that like, and again, this this lines up to the the whole shot of um at the very end where um what's his name the jaw titan. Uh, oh, Porco. Uh, Porco. 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 Um, <laughs> um, it is like, you know, sort of like himself when he's, when he's, you know, back against the wall and all these dudes, yeah. uh, uh, scouts are getting ready to come for him. Is that like you said, these Eldians, they don't fight wars like traditional soldiers. They are willing to use whatever <laughs> tactics that they have. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin just died over there. Yeah, Continue. yeah, Gavin's choking on water. He's fine. Um, Gavin, keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up over there, would you? Um, I, I think it's interesting because it's like, how do you, you know, w- w- with like traditional warfare, it, it's like, oh, 
we can anticipate the enemy trying to do this, or sure. they're going to close off our borders, or they're going to like you know sort of storm the the campgrounds here. But it's like they know all the tools that they could have at their disposal to do that. Mm-hmm. With with the Eldians, it's like. Yeah, if they could cut off our ships with more ships, that's fine. But if they have a giant ass fight the size of, you know, a country, what do we do? Yeah, How do yeah. we stop that? Like, no. you know, it's it's like, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's it's some so uh, it's some show. crazy stuff, man. And just like on a on a last note, like Attack on Titan will never fail to blow me away with how ruthless it is with killing its characters too. Like the fact that uh, Sophie or Sophie just got smashed. She got Obitoed, as yeah. I said, with that rock um, was rough. And then the yeah. other kid, Ripper. U- Udo or whatever, got trampled yeah. to death, yeah. which is a brutal way to go out. Like, they're not pulling punches here, man. So I'm just like, yeah. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. I'm a little scared for what's going to go down. But next episode, it's 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 oh. happening, bro. It's, it's everywhere. Things are <laughs> things are going Dude, the devils down. On parodies, bro. yes, that's it. The They're devils here. have arrived They're here. This was oh, this was such a good episode. This was crazy. This was crazy. Anyway, that is our discussion today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We went a little long. That's because we were excited, though. So hopefully, you were too, and hopefully, you enjoyed it. And for those of you who have watched this all the way through, thank you so much for your support and and uh, be a part of the conversation. Like I said before, uh, it's not just us; it's the community at large. So long as you're being civil and you're not spoiling anything. But if you guys like the content today, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, sharing with your friends, and commenting your thoughts down below. As I mentioned, what did you think of our discussion today? What did you think of this episode? Was there anything that stuck out to you in particular? Anything that we might have glossed over without spoiling anything? Or remember my message from before? Um, yeah, let us know all those thoughts in the comments down below. And Gavin, if you sneeze one Dude. more time. <laughs> I'm still going to, well, I'm dying. Like this episode's trying during to kill one me, of bro. my plugs again. No, <laughs> please keep it together until we turn the cameras off. But anyway, and make sure you guys are subscribing to AOA Reaction. The link is in the description down below where you can catch our live reaction to this episode and all future live reactions to Attack on Titan, among many other shows as well. Dr. Stone just came back. For anyone who's a fan of that, Isaiah was reacting to that. Isaiah and I are going to start reacting to uh, Haikyuu, which is something. You heard it here first because I've been keeping that under wraps. These guys are going to be on that Hunter Hunter game soon. We got a lot of fun stuff coming your way, and make sure you guys are checking the main channel for things beyond Attack on Titan, such as Tower of God, The Promised Neverland, all of the poppin' anime right now. This should be your source. We are glad to provide Mm. it to you. But until next time, folks, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And we will catch you on the flip. Peace. 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 Ninjas of samurais. Blaze of the cool knives. Find me in the leaf of the cloud. Screaming out Bankai. We just some ghouls, though. Who likes seeing parts fly?